What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Dami. I'm a sound engineer, guitar player and producer. And today I'm excited to um, take a look at the new Logic Pro update. And if you are familiar with you know, what of Logic Pro, uh, you know, it's Logic Pro X for a while, for some time now. And if you look at the editing now, it's just Logic Pro. And that's because there's a new version 11 that just got released. Um, there's been a lot of noise and um, media attention towards this new version that just came in uh, and I just want to look at this from a guitar player perspective from a mixing engineer perspective and there's a whole lot to be excited about um, it's a small update from here but by the time you get into the application and you start downloading samples it could you know the size could easily go up more than that so don't let the size here deceive you um, the a few things that are of note uh, to people like me there's a lot of things under the carpets that i want us to look at first of all uh if you just look at the the just the release note here um radical reshape and reshuffle of audio with beat maker sophisticated time pitching and morphing instrument this actually um that means that they kind of re-engineered the the pitch um the editor for the pitch adjustment and all that good stuff as well um sampling use sampling to quickly create an edit soft to get a multi uh sampled instrument transform audio samples into uh malleable sound that you can perform using simple alchemy so sampling there's actually that problem with sampling when you load sampling into your custom user patches i believe this new update fixed that that's another thing to be ex uh, excited about the one that i'm most excited about right now is the stem splitter um option in here before you know we have to go to like some websites and then separate vocals especially when you like create content and then you want to play like a jam track over an instrumental version of a song you have to go to those websites they are extremely slow and some of them are actually not free if you want to enjoy the full features but right now that is built into logic pro and i cannot wait to try that out another thing is you know the new drama machine it's been re-engineered to be better a few people have some complaints about it but so far for me i i, I will try it out i actually updated on my laptop and i've been playing around a little bit but i'm not yet i've not yet updated on my um main workstation here and that being this is my main workstation so when it comes to like installing new software i'm very uh skeptical and if you know you know you don't just want to jump into an update and just you know run it up uh i kind of did it on my laptop my laptop is like kind of my test area which i can if i want to install a new plugin or i'm trying new stuff out i'll do it on my laptop first because if it breaks i can always go back but this is my main workstation this is my uh <laughs> my mac mini and everything is here if anything goes wrong here my walk will be you know will be put on hold so i usually try stuff out on on my laptop excuse me first and yeah let me know in the comment if you also do that if you have like an older uh, you know test station maybe because i'm a tech person you know you just want to test before you move to production basically um and <laughs> let me get back to the main thing another uh update that i'm really excited about is the new you know session player for the keyboard and for the bass um if you're familiar with session player you know the drums you can select drummers different drummers and you can get them to follow like your already recorded track in this scenario you actually have that for bass and keyboard which is amazing i'm really excited about that and then last but not the least i mean this is not the last update but this is just the four things that i'm excited about is the chromaglo I, I, I can't i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right this one right here um and that's just some sort of saturation from um a lot of hardware that you know apple guys have you know worked on over the last few years and um yeah uh, let me download the update and install it right here and um let's see what we have you know just like i said earlier don't get deceived by that one gigabyte of size right now you downloaded the player sound library and this is about almost 13 gig that's over 12 gig so and you know you have additional sound library as well so um <laughs> this is gonna take a lot of space so if you don't have um a sufficient space on your laptop i will advise you do that or try to relocate your sound library to an external hard drive so that way you can uh, 
manage that i'm sure there is a lot of video on youtube that will <laughs> kind of give you uh you know a good head start when it comes to that so let's just let that sound library download and let's take a look at that um stem splitter here um i'm just gonna load one of my um one of the tracks that i'm working on and see if i can kind of recreate that um file separation uh, algorithm on here okay so uh first thing first uh if you have your logic on your m1 computer um set to rosetta you will want to uncheck that because some of the features here will not work um especially the first one that i'm excited about so i had that problem when i launched um uh, my uh my logic was still in rosetta because some of the softwares that i have some of the plugins that i use are still not compatible with the m1 so that might i'm not still sure how to navigate that but for you to use uh some of the advanced tools here you will need to exit rosetta because you know you have to use the current machine uh thing in the logic all right let's move on to the exciting part um track separation uh i've loaded in the track here i might not give you guys audio maybe i'll just give like two seconds um when you have your audio file here if you go to processing and you, you're gonna see a new option here it's called the stem splitter and you can pick how many instruments that you actually want and that is gonna create a new uh or four new um stamps for you and if i go right here and say split it's going to take a few minutes and it's going to split them into tracks uh, some of us are already familiar with this we use some websites but now you can do it locally within your app which is an amazing uh thing uh in my opinion um i will be using this a lot especially when you're a content creator and you need to generate a backing track for yourself or you recreate music and all that good stuff or you just want to tear down uh, you know a track that you've worked on in the past and you just want to mix it again uh the audio quality is still kind of iffy a little bit but um i don't want to get a copyright claim on this video so uh, i'll just play a few seconds here uh so you can say so you can hear the vocals it sounds pretty clean you still retain the reverb you're doing okay but we both know which it sounds really good and even the bass the the drums does have that phrasing artifacts in it which is kind of common with you know all this kind of au um audio separation vocal separation thing but you know it gets the what the job done or it, it, it works um it's not the best but i think this is going to improve over time and it's going to get better another thing that i want to draw your attention to is the saturation uh, software uh which is really um good especially when you're new to compression and saturations uh i i think this will be a good option for you uh if you come to it's called a chroma glow but you, it's going to be under distortion and you're going to see the chroma glow here and here it is um, like most logic softwares it has um like presets here so if you're not really familiar what you sh you, you you want you can kind of go i'm a guitar player so i, I can come here and be like clean directs and kind of you know pick one of this preset and then play with the parameters later or uh, if it's a master boss like a track that i have here right now can just say energize and it's gonna analyze and you know pick the kind of tube that you want and then you can you know mess around with the settings which is really cool i, I really like that um and last but not least uh we have the instrument um just let me pull these up here all right so i say new um sound library let's take a look at the sound library let's see what we got here uh, 
the loops I'm not it's gonna be hard to kind of decipher what loop is new and what loop is old but no. I'm already hearing some new sounds here so that library it's it's packed and you need to dig under the roof to actually see a lot of you know more. <laughs> You, you, you're gonna have to dig uh, to see a whole lot more uh, in here and yeah if you someone that uses that um, all the Apple loops here um, you'll be happy to find uh, <laughs> new new sounds as well I'm really excited about these and I'm gonna be playing with these all time after time again now let's go to the session player which I'm more interested in the keyboard one I just want to kind of have a feel what is like I'll drag in a guitar part here let me clear this session here um, and let me drag in a guitar part that I've played and let's see what it can come up with that that should be fun right I'm just on my auto monitor um, all right, so I have a guitar here. Uh, input tempo, sure. All right, so this is a simple guitar track that I played uh, a while back. So let's start with the bass uh, create track. Uh, loading files, new session. Let's hear what he's playing. The fact that he actually picked the key is already a plus here. Um, and I believe we can also kind of mess around with it a little bit. Uh, I don't think it's on the key. Uh, root more notes. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's not the same key. <laughs> All right, let's get to manual here. Complexity, intensity, uh, details, uh, standard, feel, dynamics, humanize, tempo. Doesn't say anything about the key here. Huh. This is quite interesting. Hmm. Okay, chords. Okay, follow global chord. No. Follow region chords. Okay. Yeah, really? I guess I gotta figure out this thing. Uh, well, it, it, it works. I guess it works. Let's try. The, let's try the uh, the piano player, uh, keyboard player, freely. Oh, broken chords. Okay, we can do broken chords. All right. So what it's doing is it's actually just following um, the tempo and whatever default uh, setup that they have here. So how much of this will be able to change? is the interesting part now. So you can actually change the cult progression um, 
on the yeah, uh, chord progression. Oh, you can actually change your chord progression. Um, one, four, one, six, five. Mm, sounds. All right, so it doesn't automatically. So what's the AI here? <laughs> I was of the opinion that he's actually going to follow the melody and just create a bass line for that. That would be awesome, but I guess there's no cheat code for that yet. Um, well, uh, I mean, it, it's all right. I, mean, it's, uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, that's all I got for now. I'll dig in deeper and I'll keep updating you guys. Uh, for a guitar player, I just think that track splitter is... Uh, for content creators, basically, if you're doing music and creating content, you want to be able to rip tracks apart. And without having to do that out of logic, I think that's just uh, that's that that that's a good plus here, in my opinion. Uh, let's take a look at a drummer drum track. And it's probably similar UI, of course, uh, to that other one. Yep. So now you have a separate UI uh, that's quite different from the one we had before. <laughs> um, so now you have fuel amounts. What are these? Oh, so you can. Oh, okay. It's all it's all new design here. Half pipe, mixtape, new kicks. Oh, okay. This is good. Um, yeah, there's this a lot here, and I'm sure there'll still be more. And as I play with these a little bit more, uh, I will be making more content um, to kind of go over the things that we have here. Um, I'm really excited about trying this Chroma uh, Glow. Just kind of see how much saturation it has to track. I know Waves have something similar. I think the BB Tube, something. Um, yeah, it's the BB Tube, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that, that. Um, it's it, it might work similarly. I'm not sure if this is analyzing tracks. Um, you know what? Let me let me drop it here. Let me drop that here. So that's my track without it. So I picked the electric guitar and edgy bite. Now let me turn it on. Sounds like trash. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds terrible. Let's try warm and light. Kind of sounds weird. Uh, I could see where this it gives it some sort of darker tone to it. So like you're passing it through like a analog preamp. So it's having it's kind of emulating like an analog tube session preamp session whatever. It's not something I will be using, but I will definitely like to play with it. Just like the mastering. Um, I know people have gotten some good results with this AI mastering analyzing thing, but I've not. Um, I'm just taking to my old plugins. But overall, there's a lot to be excited about here. And over time, I think we'll discover a few new uh, tricks in the pouch. So if you like content like this, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. My name is Mr. D's, and uh Stay creative.